Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make underwater really aquatic type of melodies, like some video game vibes. As always, before we get started, make sure to go tap in with me on social media. Give me a follow at Enviral, but let's lock in. As you can see, I got some crazy vibes going on with the colors here. I just kind of heard these tropical colors when I was making this melody, but this is what the melody sounds like. As you can see, it's extremely wavy. I could definitely see blade on it, but since it's so wavy, we might need like a one of future. The first thing that I started with is this world editor from M1. I put a really complex like pattern down, but it's actually hella simple because it's only two chords. Without any effects, this is what it sounds like. And then it just repeats over here. I did a lot of extra stuff, but I mean, it pretty much comes down to these two chords. So I'm playing F minor nine and then C sharp major seven. But the voicings that I use are really different. So for the F minor, I'm playing it like this. Instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it like this. So I'm raising the third to a fourth. And this makes it really dissonant because like I'm actually adding the 13 in here, you know, like. And then the next chord, I just add some extensions as well. So it's like. I basically play those two and then do a little twinkle pattern up here. So just go like. That just adds a really video game aesthetic. And for that reason, I named it Luigi when I added that. I could definitely see Mario Trap into this melody. And then in the second half, I just add another transition chord like over here. So I'm just playing a C minor and then transitioning back up. So when I made that, I thought it was a cool idea, but it sounded like really weird. So I put a lot of effects on it to kind of make it fit. So the main thing I added is halftime just to slow it down. And then I put some echo and stuff on it just to make it more wavy. So then after the effects, you get this. Now that's a good like baseline melody, you know, like a little canvas to paint on. With that, we basically created the ocean. Now we gotta add some stuff in the ocean, like some fish and aquatic creatures. So next I added this brass from DX7. And I'm playing a really bouncy kind of pattern. This pattern is really weird, but hella wavy. Some crazy sauce that I added is this little like slide part. So I just made really short notes and build up to it. Builded, built, and, and built up to it. It just makes the note like jump out at you. It sounds like a video game power up almost. So next I kind of thought that any underwater melody, they always have like mallets. Mallets are a really tropical instrument and they use that a lot in video game melodies. So I added this mallet pattern. So this melody mainly focuses on these two intervals. They're both fifths and I'm basically emphasizing the third and seventh of each chord. And then adding some melodies just to transition around. This pattern adds crazy bounce. Another really important thing is, is I'm making the rhythm really syncopated. That's why it's hella bouncy because I'm not playing these notes straight. On its own, that just sounds like a power up from like Mario or something. As you can see, what I did is I just chopped up the melody and muted some sections just to kind of make it fit better. Next, I thought the melody needed some more air, like some more warmth. So I added this crazy pad from Morphine. I played a really slow pattern with this. Your note lengths really matter when you're using pads. Instead of a bounce, this adds like a wave to it. This melody really like grabs you in and then lets you go. It's like a push pull. The wave builds up over here and then it like just goes away. It's 
it's like you're sitting on the shore and the waves are coming at you and then to complement this pad i just added an ocean texture from cymatics this just made it like hella wavy so the melody right now sounds like this Obviously that's hella crazy, but there's a lot going on. And usually with my melodies, I try to like break it down and add a B section where things completely switch around. So for the B section, I took away the brass and the mallets and I added two new instruments. So the first one is this pluck from Toxic Biohazard. It sounds like this. I'm just using this as like an accent. But then the canvas is pretty much still empty because we only have this background thing. So I added this crazy like Xenology synth. I played a really wavy pattern with this one. When I say wavy, I mean like literally wavy because like it's going up and then it's going down and then it's going up like and it's going down. But that's the thing though, like when nodes are going up, it's a completely different emotion than if they're going down. And once again, I'm highlighting the chords with these. And then for this next section, I'm bringing in the mallets on the one uh, and I'm putting this main synth in like a filter. So this is what it sounds like before it sounds full. But then for the next section, it's like filtered out just to add more movement to the melody, make it more interesting. And then finally, I'm bringing in the old elements like the brass and stuff, but it's way less going on just to kind of close out the melody. As you can see, I got a lot of automations going on and that's just to control the movement, like make stuff flow better. Definitely got lost in the sauce with this one. Like I was drowning in the sauce. Like I think that's pretty much all I got for this one. If you guys enjoyed this one and want me to make more videos like this, definitely give it a like and let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out any of my videos. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.